And uh, that's the, the dangerous thing that's happening when I say, Chris, democracy is on, on trial. It's because without this, we're nothing as a nation. We have to get everyone back together again in some way. Okay, but, but Rosie, with all due respect, you're not going to be successful saying that democracy is on trial and anybody who supports Donald Trump is a fascist. You're not. I mean, those people are going to reject you well, 100 percent because there's a lot more to okay. it than you are presenting. There is a lot more to it. Well, Donald Trump presided over the country for four wait. years. Wait a minute. Just hear me out. Donald Trump presided okay. over the country for four years and there was no attack on democracy until January 6th. And that was a large mistake that he made. I don't believe that he was behind it. I think that if that trial ever gets up, he'll be acquitted. There's too much exculpatory evidence. No way. But you're no not going to bring anybody together demonizing Trump and the people and the 72 million who voted for him. That's not going to happen. All right. So look, let's hear Rosie out, though, because Rosie is, as, as is Bill, maybe even better, great communicator, a great ability to deliver message, great feel for people. What are you trying to do, Rosie, and what's your hope? You know, my hope is that we get to continue as a democracy in this country, that we get to have elected officials representing the people as our forefathers created. And what Donald Trump is doing is trying to become an authoritarian, a dictator, and he is the worst thing that ever happened to this nation. And there are so many examples that it's ridiculous to try to name them all. And so I don't, I forgive the people who were lied to by Mark Burnett about Donald Trump. I forgive them when they are going to see the truth about him and he's going to go to jail because that's where he deserves to be and that's where any other American would be if they did what he did. And I totally disagree with you saying that he didn't have anything to do with the insurrection, that he didn't instigate it, plan it, demand it of his fans, because he did, Bill. He did. Well, you'll see, we'll see in court what is presented. And if you are correct, then we'll have another debate. But I will take a $10,000 okay. bet right now with you Rosie, to your favorite charity okay. or mine, that Donald Trump will okay. not be convicted of insurrection because he's not charged oh, with it. Man, that is so you cheap, want the Bill. 10K, that is so I'm here, cheap. I'm here to, you cheapo. I'm here to do it. You cheapo. He wasn't charged with it. Hey. Make a $10,000 hey, bet that he won't hey, be Bill. found guilty I'll, of anything I'll, in the case. I'll make that bet. Ten no, he wasn't he charged was with insurrection. Guilty. All right, you got it. Not of that. Not yeah, of that. He that. wasn't charged Other with charges. it. charges. Sneaky Anything bill. he is charged you know, I with, I agree he will be guilty. You take okay. that bet? We'll see. Um, you know, I'm no. not really fearful of our democracy because there isn't anybody uh, more outspoken in this country than I am about politics and other things. And my freedom was not impeded one iota during the Trump administration. And I don't know any broadcaster's freedom who was. You still have the view on every day, pounding Trump into pudding. Nothing happens. All the working people I know were better off under Donald Trump. So there wasn't any economic consequence. So I really don't that's know bull. what the hyperbole is. That's bull. And that's why I reject that's it. That's bull. How many, Bill, how many Americans did he kill by his COVID inaction? Let's start right there. All right. Are you kidding me? People COVID were better inaction. with him? You're out of your mind. Hold on. This out is COVID inaction. He brought, the, he brought Trump through a deal with the pharma companies, brought a vaccine Operation to Warp the Speed. nation in less than a year. Operation Warp Speed. Okay. He definitely, he, he definitely the brought fact. the vaccine. He was slow at the beginning, and then he got cold feet about the vaccine when people went anti-vax on him. That's the story that the American people have to reconcile with their vote in November. But I got to tell you, it's not just because you're both Irish. Yeah. I love that you were willing to come on here and have a conversation. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's 
fact-driven coverage.